So today I have Garrett here. He has his, uh, help me out. 2023 Maverick Trimmer XLT. Okay. Yeah, so what color did you get this in? This is in the Cactus Gray. Cactus Gray. And uh, why did you go with this, uh, this build? I originally went with the hybrid build, XLT Gray. Uh, however, at the time I placed my order, it was glaringly apparent that it was unlikely that I would get that particular vehicle, uh, given that the hybrids were, were pretty well uh, back ordered and delayed on account of the supply chain issues. It was becoming more and more apparent as the months went by that I wasn't going to get it within the year. Uh, I was getting, given information that the trimmer package had not been utilized completely, or the, the resources that had been set aside for the trimmer package had been fully uh, exhausted yet. So. Ford gave me an opportunity to change my my order, and uh, within a couple of weeks of that change, I was notified that it was in the process of being built. Okay. So what? So, so what packages uh, did you get other than the uh, Tremor? Did you get the um, cruise control? The uh, what is it? The adjusting cruise control? It did come with cruise control. The uh -huh. base Tremor package does, or the performance package, I should say, does come with cruise control. Um, now, as you can see on here, there is the performance package or the appearance package. That was not a part of my original order. However, the dealer did add that uh, on accident and I was able to get that for free. So that that part did not come uh, as part of my original order. So, um, so how much was the package actually that, that they gave you for free? The appearance package was, I believe, $2,995. So that's a good deal. Yes. For they mess up. <laughs> Certainly lucked up there. Uh, you know, uh, fortunately for me, the individual whose order was right before mine had a one number difference, and it was just a simple mix up. Cool. Um, is there anything else you're going to be adding to this? Uh, changing? At this point in time, the only item I intend to add is a modular bed mat. Okay. What about a uh, bed rack or, I mean, a lot of people are adding bed racks to their vehicles today. What do you think about those? I think it's something I would certainly pursue in the future, mm -hmm. you know, if I ever uh, become in need of one. Mm -hmm. But at this point in time, it's, it's not an immediate need. All right. And uh, how do you feel about these, uh, these, these tires here? I mean, the tires are certainly a, a big perk, I think, Ford certainly went out of their way to, to beef up the mat, uh, the trimmer and then make it as appealing as possible. So I, I'm certainly happy with it and so much so that I would consider getting the same set uh, when the time comes. All right. Yeah, because the, these wild pieces are a little bit different than mine. Um, I guess they're not the, the uh, eight, are they AT3s? No. no, this is just the, yes, they are AT3W. Okay, they are the AT, and it has the, um, the, the mountain peak also you look here how do they ride the ride's very smooth uh, again this guy that kind of feeds into why I would certainly look at getting them again um, bumps uh, any you know, obstructions in the road you certainly don't feel it until unless it's something that you know you yourself can see otherwise um, but I mean uh, unless you know something were to, to happen in the meantime, you know, to, to shape my confidence, I would certainly lean with going with them again. I, like I said before, I think Ford has taken necessary steps to, to really add to the quality or you at least showcase the quality of what they're providing here. So what is your mileage that you're getting? The average mileage I'm getting right now combined is about 22, 23. City, the most I've gotten is 30, or sorry, uh, highway, the most I've gotten is 30. City. Is about 18 or 19. 18, 19. Cool. Let me see. So, um, you was explaining to me off camera that you're gonna do some um, camping? That's correct. 
would you be adding like a rooftop tent anything to to the maverick no, at this point in time, I think we're just going to stick to tent camping. I don't have any immediate plans to modify the truck in that mm -hmm. way. It just doesn't suit my needs at this time. So what terrain would you be going through uh, with with this tremor? Because since you have a tremor, I know you're going to be doing a lot of different terrains. Uh, yeah, really just for now, it's just going to be some simple dirt roads uh, to access some campsite, campsites maybe in the backwoods, but otherwise, Nothing too exotic. Uh, no overlanding at this point, and unless uh, the opportunity presents itself, and I feel like it's, you know, it's going to be uh, it's something I should take advantage of. But really, at this point, uh, just some some dirt roads or deep trails. Yeah, because of the um, because of the constraints of last year, you did you don't have a bed cup. I mean, like the bed spraying bed liner. Um, so what you going to do with that? So my plan right now is to do the modular bed, uh, which, I, which from what I've seen thus far, seems to be a newer addition to Ford's a la carte item. Uh, my initial plan was to do the spray on bed liner, but like you said, due to resource constraints and, and uh, cost, that's not really going to be feasible right now. But I think that the modular drop-in bed is going to be a pretty uh, reasonable uh, I should substitute in the meantime. Okay. Yeah, because I never heard of it. So I mean, because so how do, how does that even work? I'm not sure actually. From what I from the limited reading I've done, it seems as though it's compartmentalized, which means you can kind of just kind of uh, plug and play. You can take out certain pieces to to put in. Like for example, if you want to put in like a rescue box, or uh, if you want to put in railing, they have insert. You know. You can take out certain inserts to install it, so you can kind of piecemeal it if, if you'd like. But that's again, that's just from my uh, rudimentary understanding of what I've read thus far. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, inside, so inside, I, uh, you got the uh, XLT which comes with cloth. So how does how does that hold up to like? Uh, well, you you don't have kids like I do, so I have the vinyl in mind, but uh, how's the comfortability in it? It's very comfortable, and I'm very pleased with the cloth. I had a Ranger 2003 Ford Ranger Edge that had cloth bucket seats, and this is very reminiscent, reminiscent of that. Uh, obviously, you know, the difficult part, as with leather, is staining, uh, but the combination of uh, black and gray, I think, complements the, the truck well. Um, but overall, I, I'm very pleased with it. And I had I had the option for leather, uh, I still would go with cloth bucket seats. Yeah, I definitely like them. I like that it's like like gray and black. I mean, if I would have had a choice other than picking the Larry because I had the kids, I definitely would have went with the XLT cloth seats myself. Very good. Um, we're gonna do a side by side comparison of both of our vehicles. You know, mine's have the two inch lift. Yours has the, I guess, a one inch lift. Yeah, I believe it's one inch, if I recall correctly. All right. So we're gonna um, put them side by side and then we're gonna wrap this right, up. So first. here's the side by side comparison. Here are the tires. As you can see, they're the same tires, but different. The uh, Tremors tires that comes from the dealers are not as beefy as the ones you can pick up on the aftermarket like mine. Look at the front, the approach angle is definitely better on the Tremor. Even though I have a two inch lift, the approach on the Tremor is way better. These are like a matte black. And these are just painted. The dark lights. On the trimmer, and mine's is not dark. 
He also has the dark Ford emblem. And even the front headlights are dark. 